sorrowful behind the wheel. All the dawn's coming up. Forests of juniper, birch, maple. As the sun's coming up, huh? it's uh, the sunlight's coming through the tree trunks and it's making the stroboscopic, you know, trippy effect, huh? Oh, white storks, you're all flying in formation. Copy those. And they're like last pains of culture shock. They're, they're evaporating off. Uh, Sappho exhales deeply. Whole body relaxes. Uh, she's got a groove back. Yeah, she feels grounded uh, in her skin and uh, peaceful. Well, she confidently uh, purrs uh, this dream machine through uh, Kiskin, Elpagar, and Kiskasan. Oh, they're all in the rearview mirror now. Now it's scars of uh, Mutsir. Oh, she's got to take a pee break. And near an orchard of uh, cherry trees, she pulls down her jean and panties and squats uh, discreetly between the car and grassy uh, d irrigation ditch. And what? Unexpectedly, a curious Turkish teenager comes out of the cherry orchard. Yeah. And he guesses what she's doing. And rudely stares to catch a glimpse. Caucasian pussies. Oh, the Turks love that one. Well, especially the Sultans, huh? Le lesbian liberation. It's come a long way, okay. And uh, so she just keeps squatting and, and peeing. And while she's doing that, well, the only Western uh, women this teenager's ever seen went with his cousin a few times over to Ankaran and Cinema House. Yeah, those blind bitches, huh? <laughs> and she's, and he thinks. The impossible. Oh, well, Sophil stands up. Well, her pants and panties are still on. She stands up naked. And uh, she mugs him, Brooklyn style. Yeah, first she rips, uh, she rips his jacket up over his head so he can't see. And then King Punch, sound of a cracking jaw. Bloody nose. Then she kicks him so hard into the irrigation ditch. He doesn't know what's going on. He still can't see. Splush. He's shocked. Female thuggery. Unprecedented. Women are supposed to stay in the back room with the harem. You know, play backgammon. Get water. Get humped. And he... Well, uh, he's gone. He, he he goes into the cherry trees, and uh-huh, he didn't get no cherry. But he got a broken nose. Well, she wipes her pussy with a tissue. Takes a deep breath of fresh morning air. Yeah. Well, nonchalantly slides back in the wheel. Of the role. No sense, right? <laughs> I'm really digging this scene in Turkey. Yeah, she, she sighs contentedly. She synchro meshes into uh, third gear. Well, uh, you know, she's a good driver. She's from New York. <laughs> you know, she has to be. 220 kilometers. Get out that abacus. It's 140 miles. See, I have an international audience, just not like dumbass <laughs> yanks. Three hours along the crest, she arrives undaunted at a Nifisha. Almost out of gas. Uh, well, when the car stops, the men wake up, Sphinx. Mm. And he meticulously washes all the windows, inside and out. I mean, he's got the clean gene. Every tribe needs one, huh? Every tribe needs a sentinel. 
Every tribe needs a clean gene guy. Well, he's one of those, huh? Yeah, he cleans all the money. On the inside also? Well, Pasho, he's a, he's a car freak. And he notices <laughs> it takes 16 pints of oil. No, he tops that up, huh? <laughs> and, oh, look at that. Eight cylinders all in a straight line. Aluminum alloy. He better get back to India and get on a more spiritual trip. Kali Yuga, the age of metal, has gotten to him too deeply. Get into the age. Yeah.